Welcome back to my channel and hopefully I'm in frame and everything's okay. I thought I would do a kind of vlog all around food. So this is a what I eat in a week food vlog. But I don't know if I'm going to do it for the full week. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, it's Monday morning. I'm just up, hence my, you know, my house coat and my demeanour and the fact that I sound a bit rough. I'm in a kitchen right now. So yeah, I thought I'd just, making sure I'm still in dream, take you through what I have for my breakfast and whatnot. So get into this habit. The very first thing I do every morning is have a big cup of water. So I just got it in my, oh no, there's a hair in my mouth. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> I have a big cup of water every morning because it kickstarts your metabolism and it gets rid of your toxins in your muscles in your body the night before. So I just think it's a good thing to get into. Mm. I'm going to put the camera down so no and enjoy my water and then I'll show you what I actually have for my breakfast. There we go. So, tea revolves heavily around my diet. I have about three to four cups of tea a day and they tend to change. This morning I'm just having your normal regular tea. I have a lot of loose leaf tea but in the morning because I'm tired and I can't be bothered. I just, um, I will show you. I will show you. I will go over to the cupboard and I will show you. I just take, um, here we are. Let's see if you can see it. Just kind of little tea bag. I don't think it's Tetley or Twinings or anything like that. I think it's just Tesco's. And I'm taking one of the family's cups because my Epcot cup, I can't do this with my hand, it's so hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go, tea bag in. Because my Epcot cup needs washed it in the sink. So, um, to speed up time, sometimes I just use the family's cups. Not very often. I'm really hoping that um, everything's still in frame. This is the first kind of time I'm doing this vlog where I'm showing like kind of what I'm doing as I'm doing it myself. So, I just hope everything's in frame. And if it's not, I just hope me... Describing what I'm doing kind of helps those sighted people who are watching as well. Oh, also, side note before I, I carry on with my tea and whatnot. If you want to see a different vlog, like what I eat in a week, but how I manage it from being visually impaired, so like how I manage tea and whatnot, then I'd be more than happy to do that kind of video as well. So I'm a tea's boy and I've just got my, this is my usual, my bowl. I got my breakfast bowl because I always have my breakfast in it, but sometimes I have soup and stuff in it. It's my Kath Kidston Cheshire Cat Bowl. And today I'm going to have porridge. And the porridge I usually use is... Which now whip it out. Oh dear, it's fallen on the floor. Well... Clearly the box wants to be shown because it's fallen on the floor. Um, I don't know if I'm showing it the right way around or showing it at all. Wait a minute. Right. So this could be the front, the back, who knows, or hopefully you're even seeing it. But it's the, I think it's called the Simple, Simple So Oats. And hopefully you can see the flavour from here. If not, I'll give it a wee flipperoonie. Here is the other side. I know it's strawberry and something. It's not my favourite one. My favourite one has to be the Sultana and Currants one. My dad's coming down the stairs and if he finds out I'm vlogging, he'll flip through the ceiling because he is not a camera person. Give him a warning. Hi, Dad, I'm filming. 
and he promptly leaves. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's not my favourite one. I can't seem to get the consistency of milk right, and I don't know if that's get anything to do with what's in it, or that's just me not doing a, a very good job. So, yeah, here's the sash here. Like I said, if this was a visually impaired how I do it video, I would show you step by step. But since it's not, I'll just go ahead and make my porridge. And that seems to be my kettle boiled as well, so I'll go ahead and make my tea too. Again, hopefully I'm showing it right, if not, I'll give it a good flip around. This is the, the milk I use too, I think it's called Plant Life or something. It's the soy milk from Aldi's, I use this for my porridge and my tea. I just prefer the taste of soy milk and I normal milk makes me feel quite sick. I've never been proven to be lactose intolerant, but I tend to take, I tend to stay clear of um, normal milk. So yeah, this is my favourite one, and it's probably the cheapest one that I've came across. So hopefully I'm showing it all okay, and you can you can see it all okay. Oh, and that's my porridge ready. I wonder if I've actually got it not watery today. That would be the dream. Well, exciting stuff. From feeling it with my spoon, it doesn't feel really watery. I think this is actually the best consistency I've got it, and I think that's because the extra soy milk I had, I dumped that in my tea. So I think this is the most successful porridge I've made in a while. This is all I'm having today. Sometimes I'm feeling a bit more generous and I do more stuff to it, but this is all I am feeling today. So. I'm going to enjoy this and I hope you can actually see what I'm going to enjoy. Somebody's like painting outside and it absolutely stinks and the smell has came from their house through the open air into my room and I smell like I'm high. It smells like I'm high. Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, yeah, that's me just going to have my lunch now. I've ran six and a half miles, which I tend to do every day. I've been really naughty though because I haven't had a rest day yet, which I should have had. So I hope I'm in frame and everything. I'm just boiling the kettle down the stairs. I'm having green tea with mint because I read online somewhere that it's really good to drink green tea after a run. I think it gets rid of the toxins in your body. So I'm actually upstairs in my room right now and I don't know why because I can't find my iPad. Um, because the food's down the stairs and um, I hope I'm still in frame. I'm trying to walk, vlog and hold my iPad under my arm and my iPad is um, the iPad Pro, like the 12.5 inch, so sorry if I'm not in frame, but it's a huge beast that takes up most of my time. So, um, oh, that's my kettle boiled. So I'll just go down the stairs. I have my support worker coming at two o'clock. It's half one right now. So I need to move my caboose. Um, I had to wait for my dad making his lunch in the kitchen, which I wasn't best pleased about. Um, Cause he makes it out as if it's my fault. Like, and it's like, I know the kitchen's a, a public shared space, but I've got nowhere else to eat my lunch. And every time I'm watching something in Netflix, people come in and they're like, oh, what are you watching? And it's like, just leave me alone. I just want to eat food. I don't want to be talked to when I'm eating. Eating is my, like, tranquil, quiet time. So I'm just going into the dining room to turn on my laptop. I'm trying to, like... Very well aware that as I'm walking and vlogging, there's some points where even I can feel with the camera that I'm not in frame. I'm going to have to put you down because I cannot turn this laptop on and talk to you guys at the same time. So I'll see you in two seconds. It's really hard when you can't see because most like mainstream vloggers, they can see and they can do things with one hand. One hands, One hand. But when you're blind, uh, you need two hands, one hand to kind of feel where things are and then the other hand to actually do what needs to be done. Which is why I find 
vlogging and doing things like I'm about to do now, pouring a cup of tea, exceptionally difficult and that's why I never show you guys me doing these things unless I have somebody else helping me do them. Okay, I'm hoping I'm showing them okay. Most everyday lunch I have, it's kind of like grown-up lunchables. So these are the crackers I use, they're from Aldi's, they're like whole grain. I'll just show you them from like all different angles, just in case I'm showing the back and whatnot. So yeah, depending on how hungry I am, I have maybe four or five of these. And then it will be in my other fridge, because I, I have my own little fridge. Because I'm very possessive over my food and I don't want anyone touching it and I like to take stock of it. So this is my own little fridge. And I buy these little, hopefully you can see it, packets from Aldi's again. It's like a little selection of salami and cheeses and that's kind of what I have as my little lunchables. I meant to say earlier as well, as a mid-morning snack I had... Wait, I'll walk and vlog again. So you can see my questionable face. I had some grapes. Did I have anything else or was it just grapes I had? I think it was just grapes I had. And uh, the rest of this kind of banana milkshake from uh, Marks and Spencers. I've been loving the Marks and Spencers plant range. So it was like a kind of vegan type banana milkshake. Super yum. So yeah, that's what I had. I forgot to vlog it because I was in the middle of running and I just stopped and I was downstairs and my camera was upstairs and my camera didn't, my workout outfit didn't have any like bottoms or anything and carrying around this iPad, I mean look at the size of it, it's freaking huge and if you can't see it's like one, two, it's like two hands and a bit. To be fair, I have small hands. But yeah, 12.5 inches. Huge. I'm running late, so I'm going to stop rabbiting on about the size of my iPad and I'm going to eat my big kid Lunchables. Oh, a naughty cookie. Yeah, I had a banana and then I wasn't going to eat anything else. And then I was like, ah, I'm going to have a cookie. I've been good all day. Like, the whole point of me filming these videos was to try and be he try I'm trying to eat healthy but not so healthy because of my active lifestyle but everyone's allowed a wee treat now and again so I'm having a cheeky cookie. It's not even mine, it's my dad's. Okay, I had two cookies and they were good. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I hate it when people do these what I ate in a week or what I ate in a day videos and they don't actually, they're not up front. They just say, oh yeah, I'm having this and they, you think they're having like, I don't know, a quarter of a cookie and they actually sit and eat three cookies. So I'm being honest with you. I had two cookies and it was good. Um, it's probably... No, I know, TMI, it's ladies week this week, so yeah, that plus exercising equals I'm eating like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's okay. I'm so hungry, it's like, I don't know, 20 past 6, uh, you can hear the f maybe you can, I don't know. Um, it's dinner being made, we're having chicken mushrooms sweet potato chips and some salad and I'm super hungry and hoping I'm in frame but yeah is there a wee person behind the camera? me oh there is I thought I sense a presence I'm sure you're in frame am I in frame? yes oh good because I've been, once. I've been doing this squinty, but... I've been doing well I've, I've not been doing that see that see when I do that mm -hmm. hurts my wrist I feel like I'm Squinty when I do that. But I've been trying to do this all day, so hopefully my other cup's up with this. Oh, point. That'd be then frame. And uh, my chosen drink is in my my Disney tumbler. I nearly stuck it up my nose. And it is, um, I buy vitamin tablets. Like the little dissolvable vitamin tablets. You just pop them in water. And it kind of makes like plain water taste like 
Fanta or whatever and my chosen flavour is lime and pomegranate so it's healthy and good for you and all that good stuff. Right, my arm hurts and I guess the sore your arm gets the less likely they are to go out of frame so I'm going to go and eat my dinner. Well, no, when it's ready I will. There's that salad. Had it last night but um, <clears throat> I love salad. But somebody's put homegrown chilli peppers in this thing and it burns the socks off you. I don't know why it took so long to say that. I want a drink. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <gasps> oh, I'm using my fingers. Let's, let's hope I'm in frame. Mmm. <laughs> what a leaf. And mum's complaining there's no room on her plate for salad and I don't know where to start. Where's my chicken? No, yeah. where's my chicken? To the right. To the, to the right. And it's just, it's to the right. There you go. I don't know where I want to, to start right. next. Okay. Anyway. Hello, I'm back in my house coat again. I'm back from piano lessons. And um, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to eat anything yet, but I am going to have my nightly cup of tea, which is, wait and I'll show you. First of all, don't know how the lighting is down here. This is where I keep it in my tea caddy, and you're probably looking at it and you're like, I can't really see much. But I actually have a spare packet of it back here somewhere. Wondrous please! Who else is excited about the live action of Aladdin coming out? Just me? Just me? Okay. Uh, um, yeah, this is probably the back. I'll flip it around. So this is it. It's um, a new tea company I'm trying. It's called Bird and Blend. I've always wanted to try it. So this is the Easter Egg Nests black tea. Unfortunately you can't get this anymore. I actually got it on the very last night they were doing it because they stopped selling it on Easter Sunday and that's when I bought it. But I do believe they bring it out every Easter so definitely uh, check it out because I've only had a few cups of tea but it is really good and it smells like a wheat bit when I'm brewing it. So it is loose leaf but I like my fancy pansy teas so definitely be drinking that if I decide to eat something I'll definitely let you guys know mm. apple and I ate some foamy bananas while I was eating for my tea to brew which probably wasn't the best health decision but they're going hard and they need to be eaten and I don't even know why I'm eating myself because I'm actually full so I'm gonna go to bed eat this, eat my tea, drink my tea, not eat my tea, and um, yeah, call it a night. Bye for today. Hey guys, happy Tuesday morning. It's a little earlier than it usually is. Hoping I'm in frame. Mm -hmm. um, because I've got the hospital just making my way down the stairs for breakfast. Which my lovely mother has prepared for me because I'm running a little late because I slept in. So yeah, let's go down and have that. We've got some lovely honey and toast. Or it's actually toast and honey, I'm saying it wrong. I'm just up cutting with some slack. And then my normal tea. So I'm going to eat that now. And I've just brushed my teeth so this is not going to taste good. And I wasn't going to have any, but I'll have um, a couple of grapes now, just because my mum said, oh, they're going off, even though we only bought them Sunday, and she seems to think that I'm not eating them at a fast enough rate, even though I've had them every single day since I bought them. And I've had grapes for a good week and a half, and they've still kept, but these grapes aren't as bonny as I, as uh, usual batches are, so... I'll have a couple of them. Plus, I used to take a snack with me to the hospital, but I'm getting to that stage now where I I don't know, I just can't be bothered. 
So my hospital appointments at half nine, but I'm usually there for a good two to three hours. So I might not get home until uh, one o'clock. So I'm going from, what time is it? Probably like nine o'clock to one o'clock without like any food. And I usually sometimes have like a little something um, in the, the mid morning. So this is fine. Hey guys, it's 1pm and that means it's lunchtime. I'm back from the hospital, slightly dazed because I haven't eaten anything in four and a half hours and yeah, I'm absolutely starving. Um, hospital went well, doctors talking about maybe reducing my treatment. Good thing about these foodly vlogs is they're kind of vlogs all around food but you can't not talk about your real life in them as well, so it's, I, it kind of lets you see like my a weekly vlog without me filming my actual week because I pretty much stay in the house most of the time and my life's kind of boring. So, I am going to have noodles for my lunch. Oh, so here are the noodles here, they are called soba teriyaki noodles so that's a case of I'll just um they're like instant noodles so I'll just put hot water in there. I never had them before um just trying them for a change I'm also very aware that I am getting a lot of um, blind and visually impaired subscribers so I'm going to be describing a lot of what I do so hopefully that doesn't annoy the, the sighty people and then over here, I've got my tea brewing just now. It's in that, like, best way I can describe it. it. It's even hard just to describe it, feeling it, so I'll do my best. It's like a little tea strainer that sits in your cup. So it's a little cup and a cup. And it's got a lid in it right now because it's brewing, and I just touched the top of it, and it's boiling hot. And in there, I've got some tropical punch fruit tea from Wittards. Um, I know I usually always had my green mint tea, but I didn't um, do running this morning because I was at hospital. I tend to do running on a Tuesday night instead of the morning. So I will take... I can't really do this with one hand. No, I will take this out. I don't think I can do this with one hand. See if this falls. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, it's fine. Put, I like to put that in the sink so it cools down. Anyway, you guys don't need to know this. This isn't about how I prepare food and stuff when I'm blind. Like I said though, if you're interested in that kind of vlog, I will do it. So I'm going to fix my tea in my lunch and I'll probably get back to you. Now for some mango because we need to get that five a day in. There, some mango. I don't know if that last shot was in frame or not, so I'm doing it again just in case. I think we have the mango in shot, hopefully. If not, we all know what mango looks like. Yeah, cool, good. I think I'll finish off these as well. It's um, a couple of uh, chocolate drops. There are dark chocolate ones and they're vegan too. And there's um, a couple left, so I think I'll just finish them off and then that'll be me. I'm just fighting with a straw, sorry, like, <laughs> if I'm not giving audio descriptions because something's happening with my mouth, I was pulling and fighting up a straw at about 5.25 at night and I just had a pre-run snack of some mango, blueberries and strawberries. I am hitting the fruit hard. Mum is not going to complain that I'm not eating the fruit now because I am hitting it hard. So, um... Yeah, I'm probably just going to go upstairs and finish getting ready. Well, not, I haven't even started. Get my running gear on and I'll probably maybe grab um, a couple of sweets as well. Just because I don't... Because I go out running with a running club at six. I don't tend to get my dinner until maybe like quarter past eight, half eight. So I just like to um, make sure that my body's got nice... Um, energy supplies, specifically sugar, so that when I'm out running I don't hit a wall or something. Um, it's about 20 degrees outside as well. 
and I haven't drank anything since lunch so I'm just having um, a big cup of water as well so I'll just go and do that anyway that's me back from my run I didn't enjoy it as much tonight it was my first trail run and I found it really difficult because of all the ups and downs and the tree routes so it was only six miles well, I done a little uh, mile warm up in the house, so if you want to be pedantic, seven. Um, and I mean, I feel fine. I don't feel exhausted physically. It's more mentally. But yeah, next time trail routes, I'll be like, hmm, I'll, I'll think about them. I'm still a bit unsure of them, but I am on my own in my jammies. Got all my sweaty running gear off, and we have my dinner in front of me. Here it is, hopefully you can see. My mum says I've got a mound of broccoli, which is never a bad thing. So I've got broccoli, my sweet potato chips and some fish. So I'm definitely going to destroy the broccoli first. There we go, lunchtime. I'm just about to have um, my crackers, salami and cheese again, like I had on Monday. And I'm just about to pour myself my mint green tea. So it's really hot outside, which is probably why I sound slightly like ugh, because I can't I can't even be bothered eating, which sounds really bad. But um, if you're looking for something to eat that's gonna keep you full for a really long time, I highly recommend Bran Flakes. I didn't even need like a mid morning snack to tie me over to lunch, and I'm st I'm just now starting to get a little bit hungry, but I'm still nowhere near my like I'm absolutely ravished ra ravenished if that's a word stay so yeah i'll make these up now hopefully everything is still in frame just my usual crackers and my usual pack of salami from aldi's audio description i'm sporting the very wet fringe sticking to my forehead wearing my house coat and my towel around my wet hair look yeah I'm just out of the bath and um, wash my hair and everything and I'm just making myself an easter egg nest tea and I'm probably gonna have an apple or something so I also wanted to end this kind of I can't call it what I eat in a day but I can't call it what I eat in a week because it's more than a day but it's less than a week but yeah I just wanted to show you couple of days out of my week. If you're interested in seeing Thursday to Sunday or a couple of more days um, then I'd be more than happy to because sometimes my, my schedule does change from Friday to Sunday. It does change up quite a bit. So if you're interested in that or if you're interested in a, what I eat in a day but going about from a, a blind or visually impaired perspective rather than an, an, an athlete um, what I eat to get my carbs and macros up kind of perspective then yeah I'd be more than happy to do that as well I just love talking about food so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in a future one and I hope I'm in frame for my parting words bye guys